All right, this is take two of the planet Saturn on the evening of August 2nd now, just after midnight, 2020. Shooting from a suburb of Los Angeles, California, a couple miles from the beach, and I've got it here supposedly in 4K. My very first attempt at 4K with a Panasonic GH5S camera. Current settings are 1 25th of a second shutter. ISO is 16,000. And we're going to see if this looks any better than the uh, HD take I took just before this. So we're seeing it through a um, Astrophysics 155 EDFS refractor, uh, which is running at f7. It's got a 1085mm focal length. The camera has a 45mm lens on it. It's looking into a Teleview Delos 10mm eyepiece, which is looking into two 2x Barlows that are plugged into the back of the telescope. Net magnification is roughly 450-ish power, I'm guessing. And uh, if you want to talk magnification anyway, and you've got the planet with um, its gorgeous rings, outer medium gray, Inky's division in between, separating the outer from the uh, much wider off-white ring. And uh, then you got the disc, which seems to be kind of darkish, a little bit darker in color than the uh, upper side, but north in this case is down, south is up, because I have an eyepiece in, in between the camera lens and the uh, telescope optics, so that flips things around, inverted the image up, down, left, right. But that is Saturn. You can't make out the moons because they're too damn relative to the planet brightness. If I tried to get the moons, I'd have to blow out the planet, and then you wouldn't see any detail in it. But um, she's very close to the meridian right now. In fact, if I once again pull up my iPad, what's it going to tell me? It tells me it transits... Oh, wait a minute. I thought it transited... Oh, 12.07 a.m. It already did, then. Because it's 12.08 a.m. Is that right? Hmm, I could swear it said 12.20 something before. Well, then it's... Yeah, I guess it's already on the meridian, or it's just past it. So it's not going to get any better than this probably tonight. And as it sweeps to the west, I'm going to have somebody's roof in the way. Not uh, physically blocking, but I'm going to start closing in on a roof, which is going to hit me um, almost certainly with heat currents that are going to fudge up the image badly. Because i got lots of magnification here, and at any temperature gradients in the atmosphere lead to poor seeing. At least that's one cause of it. So, um, there you have Saturn in 4K. I should have tried this with Jupiter, but I don't think it's going to turn out too well now because Jupiter's starting to get a little bit low. Maybe I'll try, we'll see, but anyway, Saturn looking pretty good. I could take a still, but I don't know if I'm going to. I think I'll just stick with this real-time stuff because this way you can kind of see it snap crisp and then get a little blurry and then crisp again, and you kind of watch it for a few seconds and you kind of get a feel for where the, where the details are and what's what's sharp on it, what's not. I like video myself over stills, at least for astrophotography, whenever possible. Okay, so let's call that a wrap. And uh, maybe I'll try the moon. We'll see. Okay, that's it.